China finally unveiled its long-speculated HQ-29 exoatmospheric missile interception system. The HQ-29 has been compared to the American sea-based SM-3 and the silo-based ground-based interceptor. The HQ-29 can intercept ballistic missiles in the mid-course phase, mainly targeting high-value ballistic missiles with longer ranges. In a potential clash in the South China Sea, the HQ-29 can blind U.S. forces by destroying surveillance and degrading command and control networks. After 15 years of testing, China unveiled the HQ-29 at its Victory Day parade in September, showcasing the land-based air defense missile system that is capable of intercepting targets in the near region of space outside the Earth's atmosphere. Previously, the Chinese Defense Ministry has announced multiple times that China had conducted technical tests for land-based mid-course anti-ballistic missile interception, achieving expected goals. However, this was the first time that the AD system was publicly unveiled. The HQ-29, also known as the Red Flag 29, is considered a key supplement to the top layer of China's multi-layered ballistic missile defense system, the operationalization of the multi-course and multi-layer anti-ballistic missile interception system means that China has become one of the few countries in the world with a complete anti-ballistic missile system. The missile is mounted on a six-axle launcher, according to the Chinese military magazine Ordnance Science and Technology, although Beijing has not revealed the specifications of the HQ-29 anti-ballistic missile system. The HQ-29 is also China's largest surface-to-air missile system ever shown. Compared to the HQ-19, the HQ-29 missile has a significantly larger and longer body. Only two missiles are transported by a launcher vehicle with six sets of wheels. In comparison, each launcher vehicle of HQ-19 carries six canister missiles. Each HQ-29 missile interceptor measures approximately 7.5 meters in length and 1.5 meters in diameter. With a larger missile body, HQ-29 can further expand the scope of China's anti-ballistic missile operations. The solid-fueled, high-velocity HQ-29 missile interceptors can perform a dual role, intercepting ballistic missiles in their mid-course phase and space-based threats in low-Earth orbit. According to experts, the HQ-29 can also engage hostile satellites in low-Earth orbit. The integration of HQ-9 and HQ-19 with HQ-29 will provide China with a complete, multi-layered anti-ballistic missile defense capability. The HQ-29 fills a crucial gap between the HQ-19 high-altitude interceptor and the HQ-9 series terminal defense and is comparable to the American Standard Missile 3 or SM-3 in Russian S-500 systems. Its range is expected to exceed 500 kilometers, marking a major strategic advance in Chinese air defense capabilities. The HQ-9, designed for low-altitude terminal defense. The HQ-19, a high-altitude interceptor, which is comparable to the U.S. THAAD Terminal High Altitude Area Defense System. The HQ-29, it fills the gap between the two as an intermediate or exoatmospheric interceptor. Internationally, the system is comparable to the U.S. SM-3, a U.S. Navy-operated missile interceptor capable of engaging ballistic missiles mid-flight. China's HQ-29 mid-course interceptor compares favorably with its U.S. rivals in terms of mobility and cost-effectiveness. On May 13, 2025, the U.S. Department of Defense significantly increased its investment in missile defense capabilities with a $2.134 billion modification to an existing contract awarded to the American defense company Raytheon. This latest modification raises the total contract value from $1.198 billion to a substantial $3.332 billion, emphasizing the Pentagon's strategic commitment to sustaining and enhancing the USSM-3 program, a highly advanced naval-based interceptor missile system, designed for ballistic missile defense. The HQ-29 has been compared to the American sea-based SM-3 and the silo-based ground-based interceptor. China's HQ-29 mid-course interceptor compares favorably with its U.S. rivals in terms of mobility and cost-effectiveness. In a potential clash in the South China Sea, the HQ-29 can blind U.S. forces by destroying surveillance and degrading command and control networks. 
The HQ-29 system can also be compared to the Russian PL-19 Nudal, an anti-satellite interceptor also capable of exoatmospheric engagement. Given the HQ-29 exoatmospheric engagement capabilities that allow it to eliminate even hostile satellites in low Earth orbit, thus, the operationalization of the HQ-29 into China's China's anti-access area denial doctrine will further blur the lines between traditional missile defense systems and space defense and will raise concerns about the militarization of space. The operationalization of the multicourse and multi-layer anti-ballistic missile interception system means that China has become one of the few countries in the world with a complete anti-ballistic missile system. Their appearance is not only a concentrated display of China's strategic defense capabilities, but also a display of strategic deterrence. With complete anti-ballistic missile capability, China can significantly contain the enemy's strategic strike capabilities, which is of great significance. Analysts note that China's counter-space program, including the HQ-29, poses a credible threat to U.S. space-based architecture, as highlighted in U.S. Space Force intelligence reports. It could disrupt systems like Starlink or military U.S. satellite communication SATCOM, which rely on LO constellations. The HQ-29 anti-satellite ASAT capabilities could really endanger U.S. space assets. It employs kinetic kill vehicles equipped with multiple solid-state pulse thrusters for precise mid-course maneuvers, allowing it to destroy satellites during their orbital coasting phase. This dual ABM anti-satellite functionality positions it as a versatile tool for space denial, potentially targeting U.S. reconnaissance, communication, and GPS satellites in a little critical for military operations worldwide. According to experts, the HQ-29 can also engage hostile satellites in low Earth orbit. The integration of HQ-9 and HQ-19 with HQ-29 will provide China with a complete, multi-layered anti-ballistic missile defense capability. The HQ-29 fills a crucial gap between the HQ-19 high-altitude interceptor and the HQ-9 series terminal defense and is comparable to the American Standard Missile 3 or SM-3 in Russian S-500 systems. In a potential clash in the South China Sea, the HQ-29 can blind U.S. forces by destroying surveillance and degrading command and control networks.